found shot and killed while parked at a Valley apartment complex. The family of Dominic Daughtry left wondering for years who killed their loved one. Well, this week, Phoenix police made an arrest in the case. I'm Ashley Holden speaking with Dominic's family just days after that arrest was made. It's hard to relive all of uh, that uh, trauma, but I, I was glad you know, uh, I, I was glad they finally, you know, arrested the person. It's been an emotional 48 hours for David Daughtry and his family. After years of waiting, finally getting answers in his son Dominic's case. And it's been a long two, over two years. In June 2022, the 39-year-old found dead inside his park truck shot while at an apartment complex here near Camelback and Grand Avenue. As I think of Dom, I think of that great smile that could light up a room. The Daughtry family speaking out in early 2023, police releasing these images as they work to find the shooter. Then, this past Wednesday, police arresting Stephen Deloach. You were arrested and charged with um, first degree murder. ABC 15 reporting Thursday, Deloach was arrested several times, including in 2023. New court documents say that's when the 31 year old's girlfriend spoke to police, allegedly telling investigators he identified himself in pictures on the news and told her he killed someone back in 2022. And just this month, police say DNA from the sticker on a baseball hat found here at the scene, coming back a strong match for Deloach. All the emotions that, you know, you thought, you know, you you would gotten over that they bring up a lot of tears. A lot of tears. That's how David felt watching the accused shooter's initial court appearance. Multiple times, Deloach directly addressing the judge. Correction, this crime wasn't committed by me. Dominic's family knows this arrest doesn't bring him back, so they work to remember the devoted father doing things he loved, like fishing. He had a laugh that it was loud, and uh, you, you, once you heard it, Anytime else, oh, where's Dom? They're hoping this arrest helps others who might have witnessed what happened to come forward. Hopefully this is, uh, will be a resolution and give some closure and give some safety to the community too. Deloach is being held on a $750,000 bond and is currently due back in court next week. For Arizona Tonight, I'm Ashley Holton.